Hello. Oh, the screen's only just gears, but when you come in, will it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let me put some lighty John gears up. Gears up. Whoa. 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 Sorry. Oh my gosh. You know when you try to be quiet? Don't do that. Okay, you ready? Get your brother in a minute? Yeah? There we go. Hello, everybody. Sorry, that was so cheesy. Hi. <laughs> uh, Giz has had extra sass today. Um, Bloob, I'm going to grab him in a second. We're going to try it with Kyle going live. Where are you joining Gizmo? Hi, Bruce. Thank you, everybody. Yes, what are you doing? Huh? Huh? Hi, Kate. Yes. Yes. You not eat your lettuce? It's gonna dry. It's gonna dry. Take that. Gears, Bob. Okay, you are. You want a schedule? In a second. In a second. Okay, we're getting bloobs. Do you want to come out now? You ready for this? I wish he was wearing that little party hat. Hang on, it's okay. It would be you. Right, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Um, so this live's about bloob. Gears is just going to join him and probably be annoyed. Bloob is on his way out. Here he is. But we're going to join him on another account. On his account. On, on Bloob's account. Hi, Mr. Birthday. Hi, Mr. Birthday boy. You're looking a little chonky there. Bloob used to be underway. Now I think he's going the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Don't jump scare me. Okay, and just this out. Oh, uh, he's on me. Hang on. Don't be jealous, Giz Bob. Oh, hi, Fox. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I've not been very good at the comments. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can. Yes. What's on your beak? It's white. Okay, that's that's gonna take you. Hang on, we're 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 just seven. Um. Okay. Should we show you off? Let's turn it around. There he is. Who's that? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, let's add that. Oh, <laughs> one second. There we go. Sorry. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, now I've got poop on my back. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for showing that. I'll take the Okay. So let me. Oh, my. We're not very good at this. We're not very good at this. Okay. Hang on. Blue loved himself so much. <laughs> Talk to the phone all day long. Why don't? Is it your birthday, Booby? Well, are we celebrating your birthday? Your hatch day? Yeah. <laughs> 
Tell them tickle tickle. Kiss. Tell them. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yes, Bob. Is that old poop or fresh poop? Oh. Oh, where'd you go, Booby? Uh, it's not keen on hats. Oh, how do I turn my calendar? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Hi. Kiss is like, what the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> Is it a bit trippy because it's two camera angles of her house? <laughs> come here, Bluey. Come back. Come back and talk to you. Come, come back. Come, come back. back. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come say hi. Come say hi. Can you tell your friends hi? Hi. Um, Bloob is eight years old. <laughs> he looks cute. Bloob's favorite thing to eat is like, he loves fruit. Yes, fruit. This is Gizmo, not Cosmo. Gizmo and Bloob. Oh, is Cosmo here? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Oh my bad. There she is. Oh, you changed your picture. I didn't even see it. Cute. Where are you going, Bluey? Oh, don't be messing with Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Bird's not happy with your day. I know. It gives us a little like, um, I thought this was all about me. Bird? Oh, he's going to look at himself now. Oh, that's our dinner. You <laughs> need that. He doesn't eat that. He's got onion in it. I'm going to tell everyone that's a big ass. He's obsessed with watching himself on the YouTube. Okay. That looks like a beer. No, oh, it's not one. <laughs> We're on this house kick, and he's got um, iced tea there. I believe you. Daddy, you're not going. Oh, let's turn on that light, Bluey. Come here, Bluey. Here, Ruby. Above. 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 Michelle, they're going live tomorrow. Whether they will talk to each other, we do not know. Einstein needs his his humans too. Like Giz likes to interact. Halfway to sixteen. Here Holly, my daughter, when she saw that message, was like, halfway to 36. What does that mean? I was like, Jasmine, gosh, go back to school. Go back to school, love. 
Hi, Diane. He's all over the shop. Yes. Yes. Let me go. Goodbye. Where are you going? Are you actually going? Special birthday gifts. We just got a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get special treats for his dinner. And then we got him a bluey toy. Yeah, although he doesn't like toys, which is a shame because he needs to. Look at all those people saying happy birthday to you, Ruby. Look at all those people saying happy birthday to you. Okay, you got a flu. Can I get it? Just stuck it to your foot. <laughs> yeah, it's a virtual play day, but they live in the same house. <laughs> Hello. Okay, that's creepy seeing myself. Nature said it's Bluey, uh, my bird, my bird, like my hit person. I think he's he's cool with both of us. Yeah, he goes on either of us. Well, hold on for a sec. Really? What are you doing? Are you doing on both? Do you want to be on both of us? Do you want to be a kiss? Mm. Okay, who is that, baby? Gibbs was just talking his head off. He was talking, minute. yeah. While we were eating, of course. Of course. Yeah. While we were eating. Ruby. It's really, really hard to hold the camera. It is. There we go. That's better. That's better. Hi. Do 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 is it Loki or Tina? Oh yeah, Loki or Tina's birthday. <sighs> Babe, go tell somebody in the chat wants to know how they met. <laughs> give them that little gem. Tinder. Baby, <laughs> go over there and give them the gem. Why don't you give them the gem? All right, fine. You did just sound that. Yeah, I know, but my mic's off, you know. <laughs> Want to make sure they can hear us. So. We met at a strip club. Baby, stop. Oh, I guess I could talk to the camera. Um, me and Emily met on an online singing karaoke app called Smeal. <laughs> um... How many years ago? Seven years ago now. I lost count, sorry. And I was living in the US and Emily was living in the UK, in England. And we sang I'll Make Love To You by Voice to Men. <laughs> was the song that we first sang together. And I'll bless you. 
And I messaged her because we kind of sang the song at the same time. And I was just being a little cheesy saying, oh, it's destiny that we sang this song together at the same time. <laughs> and just being a dork. And we ended up changing, exchanging numbers and then just started talking every single day. And then fell, like we fell in love basically online. How long? We talked for six months. Yeah. Yeah. We talked for six months and then seven. I flew seven months and then I flew over to England to meet her and stayed over there for a month. And then two months later, I well, I came back and sold everything I had and moved to England two months later, and the rest is history. <laughs> it was crazy. We were not looking for anything, we were content in our lives and we were just chilling. And now, <laughs> Oh, good boy. You a peekaboo, him. And now we just have, now we have family of uh, four kids and three birds. <laughs> and one wiener. <laughs> and one wiener. <laughs> no, and I wasn't gaslighting. That's a real, that's a true story. Oh, and if you get birds, your hats will most likely look like mine. Because they like to bite that plastic part. I could have said a lot better, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's why I said you do it. You could have said I got an A in drama, I would have dramatized it. Okay, I'm going to put this this on a tripod because this is hard. This is hard to hold him up. You should have seen me off the arm day. I couldn't even hold the tripod. There we go. Is that better? Bluey. His booby toy is over there, yeah? We'll show you his booby toy. He, he has a booby toy. Look at everybody saying peekaboo and happy birthday. Can you give him a peekaboo? Give him a peekaboo. Yeah, we don't live in the UK now. We live in Canada. Well, that's another part of our story. After being two years together in England, we decided to move to a part of Canada that we've never, ever even been to. I've really never even been to Canada at all. We just moved here five years ago. So it's kind of crazy. I'm going to be scared of it, but this is Blueby's new toy. Yay! Look, Blueby. It looks like you. Can you give it a kiss? Can you give it a kiss? We should got your iPad so we can get oh I suppose I could be the concert. Yeah, um Emily obviously the four kids were from a previous uh, marriage that Emily was with, so they're all from my stepdad. They were immaculate conception, everybody. <laughs> but um they've lived with me for eight years. Well coming up to eight. Another years. funny part of the story is the kid's dad. Now lives in Canada too. <laughs> yeah, we were able to help get the kid's dad over here to Canada and live here too. So it's kind of crazy. Huh. Cute kids. And we spend Christmas, birthdays together as one weird family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for the kids. Peekaboo. It's really good for the chills. Say peekaboo to your toy. Tickle, tickle. Oh, oh wow. Perfectly Imperfect said, my guy and I met online in 1999 prior to Google. Hang on. That's like OG of finding people online. How does that happen? Wow, that's, that's, now that seems risky business. Yeah. Because you can fake so much. <laughs> oh yeah, but back then you could fake everything. That's where like the whole... Like catfishing was mm -hmm. even more of a thing. And nowadays it's hard to do that because people are like, hey, Sandy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no excuse. When when I was flying over to England, um, uh, some of Emily's friends and stuff thought I might have been not real, but I'm like, we FaceTimed each other. Like, <laughs> yeah, but they, they other, thought you just might be a killer or something. Oh, yeah. They thought I could be a killer or. A weirdo. I mean, Which I you're... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, love. Technical hitch. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. 
peekaboo. No, it's better with the light. Edge. Can we do tickle tickle? So it down a bit like. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that's like red light district. Oh, I'm not very good at this. Is that any better or not? Yeah, you could leave it like that. Okay. Tickle, tickle. Is it like golden hour? Mm, it looks nice. <laughs> I'm, he's not scared of his new toy, which is good. Do you want to try to bite it? Bite it. Oh boy. Do you like that? Do you want me to put that up? I'll put that up for you, yeah? Who are we? Who are we, yes? Do I have a brother? Um, <laughs> do what? Do I have a brother? That's fine. Oh my gosh, the stories just keep coming. <laughs> Okay, so I know that you were asking in a different way, but <laughs> um, I found out recently, less than a year now, or is it coming up to a year? Oh, oh Bluey. Um, no, it's not been a year. No. Probably about eight months, seven, eight months. Yeah, so seven, eight months ago, um, I found my biological dad for the first time. I never talked to him before in my life, never met him, and um, I found him, and I found out that I have two brothers. Um, so yes, I do, and I've not met them yet in person, though, So, which is interesting. Your whole family that you didn't even know about, yep. and you've never met, it's just weird. It is super weird. Blue Bee! Blue Veg! Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? If any of you guys like this is it this is interesting. So Bloob, he's a rescue. So we rescued Bloob not even a year ago, which is what when when did we rescue him? April. April? Why is it in April? Did we? Yeah. Oh yeah, we rescued Bloob in April. Thank you, Joan. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Joan. Johan? Jo Johan? Johan. Sorry, we're not very good. And so, Blue is a rescue, and when he, um, when we looked for him online, he was with a breeding program. So Blue background was he was just a breeding bird. He had a bonded mate, and um, his the female passed away from egg binding because that's all they did was just like breed these pair. For, for four years and she basically told us that she had no use for him anymore because she when Indian ringnecks get older they have a harder time like bonding with another bird um and you know with his age she said she had no more use for him which was just really sad I'm like but you've had him for four years how is he not like special to you but he wasn't making her money so he decided to get rid of her him and we really wanted him and he we played we paid a lot of money for him for the same amount as probably a baby right wouldn't you say yes we paid the exact same amount um but i wanted to get him out of that system and be able to have a, a life and he was not handled by humans thank you he wasn't handled by people so she told us he is not tame he is pretty much back to his wild roots and a fun fact about Indian ringnecks is that these guys are really quick to go back to their like instinctive behaviors of being wild. Um, they can survive in the wild a lot more than other parrots. Okay. I don't know the website for the merch. Someone asked. For what? The website. For what? The merch. Oh, I'll put that in there. Okay. Sorry. Um, and so when so when we got him, he was really scared, terrified. When you say of people. Yes. Like he so hands. He would go into like an alien clip. Oh yeah. He would try to bite us, attack us, yep. do all these weird sounds. Anytime we went near, he was so finicky. Um and so just just on edge all the time. And it finally like you know, and it hasn't even been a year yet, but spending this much time with him every single day. Now we're we've gotten to this stage now where he allows me to step up to him and he loves hanging out. I can like put my nose on his nose. We can do kisses. Huh, Bluey. And he's just so much more conf confident. He's the only thing he's scared of still is um 
like tea towels, like any kind of towel material, he's terrified. So. But yeah, we believe that she used to like grab him. Yeah, we think that she just threw a towel on him um, in the cage to get him out. But yeah. Sorry, I've been kind of ignoring some of your comments while I was Wow, chatting. you just put that on blast. Do, do, do. I'll show you like that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, his life has made a 180, huh? Oh gosh, careful, he can. Yeah. And and the thing is, I he's never really even bit me that hard. He drew blood the other week, though. Oh, my lip, yeah. He did bite my lip the other day. But it wasn't an ace ball. He's still learning. And he does need a beak trim right now. If you look at his look, blue, blue. Can you it's show? really long. It's, it's, it's long. It needs a big trim. Good boy. Peekaboo. Can you tell everybody tickle tickle? Say hi. 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 Wait, hi. Do you say? Say tickle tickle. Um. Right, Sorry, I'm not gonna get it Um Good night, Shadow. He is eight years old and Giz is seventeen. He's gonna be eighteen in uh February. Yeah, he's gonna go to the pub. We can have a point. Good boy. Good boy. You good boy. You're so good boy. Yes, you are. Can you see this baby? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Jacob. Oh, thank you, Jacob. How do I mute Gizzes? Give Frank I... some Frank and Beans some love from us. I'm going to mute. And Claudia. Um, I'm going to mute Gizzes. Yeah, so you can talk. Okay. No one can hear your little. I'm surprised they can't hear you. Mute microphone. If he sucks. Oh. You gotta turn your volume down. Okay. Can you guys hear me better now? Basically, because we have two phones, it's hard to, like, we have to mute one of them because we're in the same room. It doesn't turn all the way down. I know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. So hopefully this is better if I'm talking. What If Gizzy starts talking, we'll we'll switch the mics around. Um, but because it's Blue Little Bee Day, <laughs> is it your birthday? Mwah. Well, your hatch day, I should say, because you don't get birth. You came out of an egg. <laughs> That's true. Aw, Cindy, you didn't have to do that. She said Bloob's gift arrives tomorrow. Aw, thank you, Cindy. Aw, Cindy. You're the sweetest. Everybody, please go follow Cosmo the oh, Funny Cosmo, Carrot. Oh, Cosmo, yes. If, 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 I, I wish we could have three because I'd have her in here. I know. I wish. The party up. Yeah, we would love to have that. Hopefully YouTube makes some adjustments and adds more than two people yeah. who are alive. Because you can have three on Facebook. Yeah. They, might, they should do four because it's uneven. Oh, yeah. Gizmo loves throwing his food bowl. Especially when he wants more snacks. Oh, that kind of hurt. Gizmo. He'd be nice. You know, Gizmo's birthday is in February. It's our Indian ringneck Bluebee's birthday. He's an eight-year-old Bluebee. Mm. His feet look so skinny compared to Gizzy's. Yeah. And when we got Gizzy as well, um, I mean, when we got Bloob, he was really under underweight and undernourished. Oh, thank you so much, Kate, for putting the um, merch store in the link there. Uh, Kate, our lovely moderator, has put the merch link in the chat there for you guys to go check out. Yeah, and all Bluey wants is just love. He really does. And snacks. He loves snacks. Mm -hmm. Do you want a snack? Do you? Do you want a treat treat? Do you want a treat treat? Oh, thank you, Kate. 
Do you want to see my balls? <laughs> <laughs> want to see my jingly balls, Giz? Okay, no. Oh, look at that, Giz, Bob. My, I'm going to dangle my balls in front of me, okay? Aw, oh, Meredith, that's amazing. Did you, you did a painting of Giz? We can't wait to see that. She emailed me. Oh, she did? Respond. Did you see it? Did she send it to you? Um, oh, did she no, just she email? said she's going to send it. Oh, that's amazing. Giz, but whoa. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Aw, that's sweet. Um, thank you, Warren. You like that? We hit the lottery I too, like honestly, the rescuing these guys. We we hit the lottery too. Like Gizmo's the, one of the most specialist grays I've ever met in my life. Um, and Blueby is just a really special boy too, aren't you? Yeah, they're yeah. right. They're right. Be nice. has learned recently, but he's only you. I've not said, heard him, but you heard him say Gizzy, huh? He went, oh, Gizzy. Yeah, he went, oh, Gizzy. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you say Gizzy? Gizzy? Can you tell everybody peekaboo? Look. Give a peekaboo. And that's a special sound. Give a peekaboo. <laughs> Good boy. Tickle, tickle. Oh, Lisa, I saw that you got the Giz Father one. I can't wait for you to get it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Janet said, why do birds suddenly appear? Seriously, though, why do birds suddenly appear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. Oh, Giz, that looks majestic. Oh, Giz. Uh, Is that your brother Giz? No. Is that your brother Giz right there? He knows I've got a statue in my hand. <laughs> Change hands, change hands. Okay. Peekaboo. Look, say hi again. Say peekaboo again. Can you give everybody a tickle tickle? Oh, he oh. Want, he probably wants one too. I'm going to get a, a messy shoulder. It's going to stay on you. Yeah. Should I play? I always throw him off. Why don't you throw him? <laughs> oh, what? You never drop these. Love your stachios. What's going on? <laughs> oh, well, you just bit my mustache hair out. Pull the mustache hair. Here you go. What is going on, Blueby? Mm, you just want kisses? Oh, Bloob. You're the cutest. You're just so cute. You're so cute. Look, can you say it? Um, oh my gosh, the squawk off doormat. That'd be great. I want a doormat. Yeah, we got to get one of those too. I want a squawk off one too. Um, what's happening? He's content. Oh, blue. That's so sweet. That's how. That's how you know a bird loves you. If they're gonna give up their favorite snack just so they can hang out with you. Do you want some orange? orange. <laughs> See if Bluebee wants a piece of that. Mustache hair stash. Yeah. He bit out one of my hairs. Uh oh. Standoff. We have a standoff. 
Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, you can talk for a minute. Oh. Let me cover my jubblies up. Your chocolate? My jubblies. <laughs> <sighs> Let me see if they talk for me. Who's that? I'm not as brave as Kyle. He, he's honestly the sweetest. He's never once like, yeah, he drew blood that one day, but that was like, he's so nice. He'd give you a kiss. I'm too scared to kiss him. Why? Because he's he he... <laughs> he's 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 <laughs> Mike said, maybe put on some jazz and give him a cognac. <laughs> oh, Giz would like that. Yeah, Giz would. Hi. Hi. Let's move this way. Oh, gosh, this is not very comfortable, Bloob. Exactly. I'm like, mm. I'm like taking a break here. Hi, D. At, can we not? Can we not? The zip's already broken on, um, where is it? <sighs> I see a some, oh yeah. See there? Those birds, those birds. We have three birds. Ooh, Giz, nice big wings, baby. Ooh, look at that. Sorry. Look at those big wings. Blueby. Oh, totally, Eli. We hear you on that. Moderators are underrated. So underrated. So underrated. We love, like, our moderators Blue. literally make Blue. our lives so much better. Um, They can make or break your community. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful to have, like, some of the best moderators in the world. Shout out to Lisa and Kate, who's in the chat right now. Yeah. Oh, let's chat with that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Night, Nightwing, so many people have said that, that even though they have the notifications turned on, they're not getting the notifications for yep. lives. Yep. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's so annoying. work too fast, dude. It's hard to work too fast, huh? Get off! <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry, it's hard to work two phones. We have like... Look at that blue tail right there. His, tails are, his tail is so long. That, that kind of gives you a little bit of perspective. Will you turn around again? Yeah. Like on it's just how head. long these... Their tails is. They're insane. They're basically just all tail. <laughs> when he goes back in his cage, I have to wait like an extra two, three seconds um, yeah. just so his tail gets in like, before I can shut the door. <laughs> you caught my ear before. <laughs> right, you can have him back. Okay, come on. You go, boy. Come on. Let's come say hi to your friends. Ready? Yo, go boy. Yo, go boy. Maybe if we stand. I can go over there. Yeah, if we stand over there, like it goes over there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go over go here. Because then Gizzy might. Gizzy won't talk if we're kind of close to him. So we will go by the Christmas tree. Oh, okay. oh it's long to go. Ready? Oh, sugar. Come on, Blueby. I brought you guys all the way over here, and then Blue just plays away. Okay, Blue, come back. Okay, let me go back and get him. Yeah, their tails are so long. Um, his longest tail is around 12 inches long.
Giz, why are you not eating your fruit and vegetables? Um, we didn't make a birthday cake for Bluey. We've done some in the past, but the birds don't really care for it. Uh, we made like a birthday bread for the birds, and they didn't really care for it, and we wasted a bunch of it, so we didn't do it this time. But Bluey will have extra. Oh, you're going to stay on me? Let's go by the tree. Come on. Bluey's going to have extra um, fruit and veg in his birthday dinner tonight. <clears throat> I think he's kind of scared of the tree, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's Look, we're right here. We're right here. Look, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at everybody saying happy birthday, Bluebee. Happy birthday, Bluebee. You're a good boy. Yeah, our birds definitely do have the run of the home. Like, Bird um, and Blue just can fly anywhere they want. Oh, yeah, they lose feathers all the time. So Bloop's particular species, these guys only go through a major molt like once a year. And then like it's major, like they look crazy after they lose so many feathers at one time. Um, but Gizmo and Bird are always molting and losing feathers. I have to stand like that because it's comfortable. <laughs> Giz might talk in a minute. He was talking crazy amounts while we were eating a second ago before we went live. So hopefully he'll do some more talking. Can you, um, how did Bloob get his name? Good question, April. Um, so Bloob's name wasn't originally Bloob. Was it? No. Tickle, tickle. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. So, Bloob, his name was actually Aiden um, when we first got him. And he used to actually say his name quite a bit, like, Aiden. He was so cute. But we just, we decided, like, we like little nicknames for our pet. So we were calling him, we called him Aiden Bloob. And Bloob comes from, like, just a word for, like, blueberry, basically, for him being blue. But he picked up his name really fast, and he started saying Bloob. So he can actually say Bloob really well. And I haven't heard him say Aiden in months. Um, so he's kind of he's kind of picked up on his new name now, which is just super cute. But every once in a while, I'll still say Aiden Bloob. But yeah. We got Bloob in April of last... Um, <laughs> April of this year, right? Yeah. Tickle, tickle. Can we go peekaboo? Yeah, Debbie, um, Gizmo can hear Blue because we live in the same house. Blue and Gizmo are brothers. Hi. Can you say peekaboo? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Blueby. Can you say, I'll be back? 
Can you say, I'll be back? I'll be back? I love when he says that. He can say, I'll be back. What else did he used to say? Or, yeah, he says, I'm going to work now. I'll be back. It won't be long. It's so cute. I wish he would do it. Um, yeah, Aiden Bloob does sound cute. I do like that name too. Like Aiden Bloob. Aiden Bloob. Yeah. When we're mad, we're like Aiden Bloob. But um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, he can. He'll say, "I'm going to work now. I'll be back." And it is. It is adorable. Oh, thank you so much, Applejack. We appreciate that. Happy holidays to you as well. Oh, I love when he starts talking like a freaking robot, Eric. It's so funny. Yeah, I so well. No, I miss his robot voice. Oh, the other day he was actually going crazy when I was upstairs. He was talking to robots. He was like, oh, my goodness. So many times. Can you say, oh, my goodness. What oh, my goodness. Huh? We definitely don't eat these kind of birds, but we do eat different types of birds. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? He's orange and he's out on the floor. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Good boy. Can you give a kiss? Oh, thank you for listening to our relationship story. Um, we Emily is a little bit older than me. Baby, uh, what? I'm just saying, somebody asked our ages. Oh, gosh. I'm 36, going to be 37 next month. Well, in January, actually. I'm 52. It's pretty much already freaking December. You're not 52. I feel it, right? You are 43? Is that how old you are? No, I think it's four. Uh oh, Bruce! You're coming in with the the um the trigger the trigger the trigger word. I always want to like dump him. Emily hates when people say that. Because I've never been in a relationship with someone younger than me. It was it was a massive like no. I can say turn off, can I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> he put the sweating emoji. <laughs> yeah, he's just sweat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Nightwing said you could look like you could be 34. Thank you. <laughs> well, I will soon. I'm getting guns. I'm getting guns, guys. We've been going to the gym, like, basically every day, which we need to slow down on. Yeah, we're getting fit. So, as you guys see us on lives, progressingly getting 
um, as we go live more throughout the month, you'll see us getting smaller and stronger. Uh -huh. We are down both down. Well, I'm just under eight pounds, but you've lost eight pounds already. I wish I was there. I wish. Yeah, it'll be 37 soon. Here we are. I'll be 37 soon. Ooh, it's ticking on. <laughs> ticking on. Yeah. I think, Michael, I think that's true. Like, I really feel like it's about maturity and just where you are in your life. And Emily's just a little bit immature, so. Wow. It caught up with wow. my. Wow. <laughs> immature. <laughs> I'm just joking. I think it's I'm just. sarcasm. I'm just extra my mature. Life. He's not. You should see him. He's like a little toddler when he's angry. Mm -hmm. He throws things. Oh, slate craft. You're turning 11. That's uh, adorable. I lost my bird. Yeah, go find Where's out where bird? your bird is. Where's my bird? He's like a lovely bird. <laughs> um, Kay said, Emily, you hot little cougar. Own that girl. Soon <laughs> <laughs> to be uh, mm. higher. Oh, you <laughs> Bruce said his back feels like he's 60, but his his mind, his humor feels like it's 15. <laughs> totally. Yep. You just found. Oh, is your mic on too? No. Oh. Oh, big waves. I wonder if we should test that. I wonder if it's too, like. It probably is like, not much, but slightly. If Gizmo starts talking, we'll switch the mics around where. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to I'm going to put the we're going to switch the mics. I'm going to turn mine off. Um And I'll come closer. So because Gizzy's starting to talk, so You stop talking. Talk. I got to pretend that we're still over here. You're a bird. You're a bird. Set timer for? How long? Kiss the clock? Oh, major kiss the clock. Yay! Mr. Lover Lover. I put a ring. Go back to the wall. Mommy, three. Ooh. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a bit mum no in love. Yes, mum loves me. Birds. You are a bird. Set time or? How long? You going over there? <laughs> Oh, goodbye. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Mom, no. I was like, no. Oh, <laughs> Which is worse. What, you, you finished? One. Two. Three. Come here, come here. I love you. I love you, Giz. Oh, the orange ones. I'm Gizmo. I'm Emily. Is that my name, Giz? Oh, he's a brilliant boy now. He's a bit Can we sing some Christmas? Should we do Christmas, your favourite time of year? No. Don't. I heard that. Okay, let me zoom in on you. We're going to do Christmas. You're being a Grinch. Okay? Right, you ready? Got my bows. 
You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vix. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzer. But do you recall the most famous... Oi, pay attention in class. Reindeer of all. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Really? I have a video of that from today and it's epic, but he's not responding now. Okay, ready? Ready, good? But do you recall? <laughs> The most famous parrot of all. Why? <laughs> you know Gizmo what? Gizmo the red butt parrot Woo had a little red booty. Okay, I don't know anymore. Yeah. Had a very shiny beak. Okay, that was good. Yeah. I was I was hoping to have like all the lyrics in my head right now. I'm. Shall we do? It? Oh, thanks, Juby. <laughs> I want to do a song like this. You know Cosmo and Cupid and Cupid. Kiki and Claudia. <laughs> Cupid. Cupid. Oh, sorry. Did I? I said Cuba. I think you said Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's advertising. We are sponsored. What are they called anyway? What? Q tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The bells. Okay, we have to move. He's his dumb one. He's like, I'm not listening to this Christmas stuff. I forgot the rest of the um I didn't even get to do the rest of the birds. Um, we can go back to yours. What? And then if he talks again, we'll switch back. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to switch. Switch. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is actually quite challenging with two phones. It huh? is. I feel like I'm in the movies. Yeah. Camera one, camera one, look at camera one. Camera one, rolling, camera two. Blueby, can you tell everybody hi? Look, say tickle tickle. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Peekaboo. Yeah, so I've given it my best for Christmas. I just think we have a I don't know. Sometimes he feels it. I think I'm winning him over. Mm -hmm. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's slightly bobbing his head. Okay. Yeah, you guys are being awesome in the comments. We love it with all the uh, the comments coming through. It makes the chat so much more fun and, and, and helps us stay in, um, engaging with you guys. When, especially when Gizmo's not talking and Bluebee's not talking. Huh. Yeah, it's a shame you're is not, it, not talking. Is it ever... Okay. Is it ever quiet in our house? Yes. No. It is. We could always go live like this and even just have it on us when we're talking and then they still see Gizbop. It's a good idea. It is. It can be quiet in our house sometimes. Did you see my nutcracker? <laughs> really? <laughs> Remember when I said that you were a little bit more immature than me? I'm You're sorry. proving it right here. Yeah, but it's in there. He's just like, show me your nuts. Uh, thanks, Barbara, for hanging out. Oh, I got red. No, they don't always talk. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And imagine if they did. That would be really be annoying. So annoying. I don't think people would have parrots as much if they were just constantly talking all day long. Yeah. Yeah, show everybody your bell hat there. Your bell I do hat. this, I do this, and I shake it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if it swung around and knocked you out? <laughs> uh, 
Ah. Uh, Carol, yeah. Carol said her late husband used to call her grand nutcracker beak. Aw. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Blue. Blueby. Yeah, you might as well just close that just in case. Because he's already bit it before. Yeah. He loves going on my laptop, like sitting on the lid and watching the video. He loves watching YouTube. Like if I put YouTube, he also knows how to use an iPad. He can turn on an iPad and he can find YouTube and scroll through videos. It's crazy. I got to get that on video. How like he knows how to turn it on, find YouTube, scroll through videos. And he loves watching bird videos. But he does bite it as well, and he's already bitten my screen once and broke it. Wasn't that bird? No, that was blue. He broke. Was it bird? Bird's broken that. Oh, yeah. Bird broke your thing. And just his. Sorry, it was bird. Sorry. iPad and my phone case. It was bird. Yeah, bird's. Yeah. Bird's destructive. Bird, you're destruction, girl. What's that, Kay? Hold on, did I miss oh, that? I got. I need to go spec savers. Yeah, I can read it from here. You can't. No. Kaylin, I'm sorry. Um, I mu must have missed your your comment, or I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, D says that's where he gets his cheekiness from, as you. <laughs> no, I've learned it from him. He trains mom, remember? Hmm. Hmm. Train mom? <laughs> no, I love, I think that's why me and Gizmo bonded because we have um, we have a very sarcastic person, person, oh, I can't talk today, personality. Oh, you look like Santa. Wow. Just because I have bells? <laughs> <laughs> <We're> dangling. <laughs> right, he's a bit Has Gizmo or Bloob ever escaped? No, but if you mentioned Bird, then yes. <laughs> so we uh, we have our Jende Kanye, and the reason why she's in her cage right now, she's in there. Because she hates the way Bloob talks. When Bloob talks, if she's on us, she's, she's there. Away. So it's yeah. Normally, it... normally we we'll let her out, but we're just. When we're distracted, she um, could hurt. She, so she gets very angry when Bloob, like, so if Bloob was on me earlier when he was talking, which is not, it's not fair that he can't have that his moment on his little birthday, so we had her away. But Bird has flown away twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, She's flown away twice. And it was only because we were teaching her how to, um, three times. how to free fly. Three times. But she doesn't go far. The first time was terrifying. You weren't here the first time. Oh, yeah. The first time I was not here. That's right. I was out of town. Um, and then you were able to find her. The second time, it was still terrifying because it was a while, like, since that last time happened. Mm -hmm. And then we heard her squawk. Like, Bird is loud. So when she gets lost, she just starts squawking her loudest. And everybody, like, people come out of their house. They were like, <laughs> what the heck is that? I'm like, oh, I'm just looking for my bird. <laughs> <laughs> And then the last time I wasn't scared at all because I knew that she wouldn't be too far. Um, but now she's kind of got the free flying down. She wants to go outside so bad, but it's just too cold. She loves going outside and just flying around the house. Like, literally, she just does circles around her house outside and just does all these crazy tricks. She yeah. gets quite high, though. That's one thing that scared me. She was, like, a good 50 feet in the air, and I was like, holy smokes. Like, I, she looked tiny, but then she came flying right down. Oh, gaze. Oh, I won't sing too much. I only try and encourage Giz. Yeah, he's a cheeky boy. Can't even see you. You can see my shoulder. Well, that's not very good. See my guns? You see them? Sorry, that actually hurts. <laughs> my wrists hurt too. The bar. Oh, Blueby, I'll put I could put the camera back on Blue for a bit and then maybe Where is he? he's on the he's Hi. on Gibby pole. He's on the Gibby pole. So Hi. let me put let me move this camera to put it on Blueby. And then we'll see. Okay, one second guys. There 
There's the boy. There's the blueby. Yeah, I only done it with Bird because she's so... She's extremely bonded to me. I've had her since a baby. So she was the only one that I would really trust to try free flying with. And she's got it down, I think, now. And I, 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 I wish that we had more time to practice before winter came, but it kind of sucks. But we still do it in the house and we practice calling her and um, recalling, recall training and things like that. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, these birds can be super loud, especially bird. What are you doing, Mr. Gray? Why are you coming you coming down? Do you wanna step up? Can you step up? You wanna step up? He's trying to come down. Oh, thank you so much, Kay. Yeah, Bluebee does look sophisticated. Oh, no worries. You're not too late. Um, you missed Mom Beats, Real right? tight. Maybe he'll say it again. <laughs> Let's see. He here. hasn't done that on a live for ages. Where's that stash here? That oh, he's already had it. <laughs> blue, blue? He is. Oh, so I'm going to give it to Bluebee because he didn't eat it. I don't think he had it because it was quite sealed. I think that I might get a little scratch on it. Okay. Jesus is coming for him. He's like, get off my giddy pole. We're going to give him apple. Like Kiwi. Oh, Kiwi. Like <laughs> Kiki said, he's my girlfriend. Apple. You're going to hang out with your girl for a while, I guess. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. He's coming back. There he is. Oh, you're gonna have both of them in one shot. Apple. Who wants an apple? Do you want one, Mr. Gray? It's stupid that you can't turn it all the way down. I know. Okay, hold on. I gotta back this up. Back it up, back it up. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what's your pits? There you go, handsome. You want one? Not one. Okay. Okay. Mwah. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, I'll put it there. Oh, sugar. What's your arm, man? I'm fine. You have some veins in there. I'm fine. Blue loves apple. Gets does too. Bird, here you go, baby. Good night, D. Bird loves apple as well. Apple. <laughs> oh, Bluey, you're so cute. Aw, that's amazing, Shirley. Shirley. Oh, uh, Shirley, you're the, like, you're the best. The best. I would say if I could give an award for best commenter, Shirley comes in first place. First place? Yep. Okay. Always in the comments, always interacting with other people in the comments. Definitely hyping up uh, our Shirley. comment section. If you um, email us your address, we'll send you um, some Giz artwork and some of his feathers for being amazing. Yeah, she's in, like one of the first person to comment and always hyping up other people's comments. Or somebody else's address. We're not, we're not, we're not crazy. Or a PO box or something. Or a PO box <laughs> or your work or something. We're not going to show up there. We might. We might. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's see. Maybe Gizzy wants to. I love do, bird people too. Do you think Gizzy wants to make um, <laughs> uh, a snowflake? <laughs> see if he wants to make a snowflake. Yes, I do. Um, a snowflake? Yeah. Yes. You calling me a snowflake? Huh? Aw, <laughs> oh, Meredith, that's the best. Oh, Athena, I see your comment. I see you. I see you. Aw, oh, thank you so much, girl. We try. Like, we, 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 we love our community and we, like, we want to give back as much as we can anytime. And our our um our giveaway stuff is gonna be starting again at the first of the year. I wanna get back to doing that. And we, we just had so many projects that Yeah, um, I worked a lot over the summer. And Squawk Shop has cost us thousands of dollars. Yeah, we got ripped off, guys. We got ripped off thousands and thousands of dollars. So um not not through um, like our distributor or, any, or our, our manufacturer or anything like that. It was just somebody who was helping build our site. Who we trusted. Yeah, who we trusted and stuff. And I had to rehire some people that um, have now cost us another like $10,000. So, um, but Squawk Shop is actually on the works right now. It should be launching anytime now. And we're so excited. We can't wait to launch that. And be able to get you guys could have the opportunity to get cages just like Gizzy, all the toys that Gizzy loves. It's gonna be awesome. If animal torture was the present, would you import them? Yes. Yeah, of yes. course. <laughs> if we knew if there was like if if we had facts that they were torturing animals, that absolutely. When I was um, a teenager, there was like, you know, all these crazy black, what do they call them? Black market or oh, yeah, the, black market. the black market sites. And I went on one once um, and still to this day, it was one of my biggest regrets. Like I always tell my kids, like, do not watch things online that have triggers and things like that, especially like animals, kids, people getting hurt or tortured. Um, I watched this horrendous video of this animal being tortured and I still can see it to this day and it still haunts me. And it's been like years. I wish I'd never saw that. Like I, it made me sick physically. Giz, you're Giz this is a... You're destroying that. That's going to break in half. Giz, this is a very interesting sense like. He's, He's like, like, shut it. I'm... It's, An artist is at work here, Booby. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Gro. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gro, Gro, Gro? Oh, oh great. Uh, <laughs> that was a little bit too much of a snowflake making. That is called a shredder. It, it, I agree, Nerf. It was completely traumatizing. Like, I can, I can see it in my head right now. I can see it clear as day. Like I'm watching it, and just like, and I only watched it for like maybe 15 seconds. I don't know if anybody. I won't. I won't mention because I. I don't want to get anyone's getting a debate. But um, with the wall going on and everything, I've seen some horrific things on Facebook. That I don't want to be seeing. Okay. No, not you. Blue, he's done with his snowflake and it's completely obliterated. Giz, that one was a little bit too much, okay? No. No. Um, Can you try again, but not so much? How's the rest of it? <laughs> Just oh, it's in the hot bucket. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh. Just oh. Like a, oh, it's like a bat or a scary man. Let's try again, Bluebee. Yeah, I do agree, though, that I feel like animal abusers should be punished just as much as humans. I don't understand why. No, they're living. They're living animal and just not okay. Oh, that is traumatizing, Susan. I can't even imagine. 
I'm not even going to describe the video I saw because it's that bad. It was horrendous. It is hard when we, when we're on the internet, like we can be exposed to too, so many things, and it's kind of crazy. I, I witness it with my own kids because my ten year old, um, because you know, especially Gen Z and Gen Alpha, who are like my ten year old is, they've been brought up with social media from the womb, bird, and you know the expose the exposing that they get, and um, what's the word? Um, Sensitive, what's it called when you when you get sensitized? Sensitized, I think that's worth desensitized. desensitized. Thank you. Um, you get so desensitized to things online that, like, even our kids that are ten, like, we watched a scary movie, and I and my ten year old really wanted to watch it. When I was ten, my parents would never, but she really wanted to, and I was like, okay, if you feel brave, and she went to bed like it was nothing. Remember that movie? Mm -hmm. That movie was scary as heck. Like, we're, me and Emily love scary movies, so we don't really get scared, but that movie actually kind of stuck with me a bit. It was that, what's it called? Um, Talk to Me. Talk to Me. Talk to Me. That's a, it's a really good film. Um, but she watched it and was, like, just chilling because they're so desensitized to things that mm -hmm. they see, the video games they play. It's yep. kind of sad, actually, in a way. It is sad. They're less innocent. Oh, exactly, you Tina. Never unsee. Yes, it's so true. Once it's like it's like it triggers it in your brain, like engraves it in there. And it's I just don't tough. go on Twitter, but I know like on different platforms. No problem, Kate. Videos of um, like my well, she's eighteen now, but she saw someone kill themselves um, on a, on a live video, randomly. Can see? Terrible. Can I see it? It's not finished yet. All right. I have to wait for the drop. I might need to move that basket. I'm just going to move it back. <laughs> He's looking at you like, mm -hmm. are you still done? You still working on it? Okay. I know, we should turn over. Well, we could swap places. Oh, yeah, you want to swap? Yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Really? You got it again. <laughs> oh, Gaze. He's making these way too... Um... Intricate? Yeah. He usually just does a few bites and drops them, but he's really shredding tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree. I do agree, Anthony, and thank you very much. Thank you. Night. No, I agree, Jessica. Can't watch that stuff. But yeah, it is true. I think people how people treat animals says a lot about the person's heart. I totally agree. It's not your best work, is, but I'm still proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Gizbob's art piece. Kind of like an alien, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal. Hope you're enjoying your – wait, what day are we on? Um, Wednesday. So hope you're enjoying your Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, Heidi. Uh, um, Tina, we're super desensitized to horror films that we find them stupid now, huh? Oh, so stupid. Even when they're really, like, gruesome or um, – like good good CGI and stuff. It's still I like all these extreme ghost films with like you know like the non and stuff. I just <laughs> laugh at them. They make me they make me laugh. But if I see someone like have the kneecap with a sledgehammer or a break, I'm like ah, I can't oh, watch that. I hate those too. I hate that kind of thing. But um, yeah, the scary films are just not scary. They're not all they give up. Oh my gosh, so true, um, Eileen. They're they said that they're quite desensitized when it comes to eliminating people in movies, but not with animals. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. In movies, you're like, oh well. Don't you dare let that dog die. Exactly. Yeah. 
That's why I haven't watched Marley and Me because I can't. That it, it kills. I only watched it once and I can't. That's the closest they go to horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not scary to me. I think the last thing I ever watched that I was really scared of, and that was years ago, that was Paranormal Activity, the first one. And that was when it was like, almost looked real, like it was filmed on their home cameras. That one, I don't think I slept very well for three nights. But no. since then, I'm just like, That was whatever. one of the most like, well done like movies i think in the horror space of like a long time like for how the low budget and how much money they made and that movie terrified me for like months mm -hmm. like it got under my because of how it looked more realistic like than these high effects he when yeah. they're like flying up on the wall i'm like come on yeah but like something like that that just really could be like it could really happen almost that's when you start thinking like I remember once my keys were on the floor, I was like, oh, hell no. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when they were on the floor like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to sleep. Who, Blue Bed? <laughs> oh, Blue Bed. Look at his eyes. So cute. Maybe we could we could just walk away and see if if Gizzy talks. Okay. I can turn off. Well. doesn't matter what mic actually, now. Actually, we could just take it over there and we can talk to them. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. We, yeah. We're going to take you guys with us, and Gizzy will stay over here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Should we talk to him by the tree? <laughs> he has enjoyed his birthday. What mic are we on, mine or yours? Oh, okay. Tina, oh my gosh, the Blair Witch did scare the heck out of me too because I was I was around the same age. Did Blair Witch get you? Oh, Blair Witch, yeah. You either really were scared of it or you thought it was stupid. It I could, was really scared of it because, again, it looked real. I think I even slept in my parents' room when I was like 16. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can I like sleep on the floor in here? <laughs> I went on the first day to that. I wonder how it would be because I think this is my talk. Because he just said burr. Oh, that's so great. Thanks, Eli, for hanging out with us. That means that we're doing a good job entertaining you all if you're going to stay, people stay in here for an over an hour. <laughs> it was so dumb, but it, I've watched it recently and it was, it's just like so silly now because of how. Again, desensitized we are, but it was so good. Like, it was so scary back then. Is it on too? No. Oh, okay. If he starts talking, then we'll switch the um, the mics. Yeah, th this is a, an ornament we made of Gizzy. It was, it, it was a, was it a penguin? It was a penguin, yeah. And then I painted it and changed it to Gizzy. <laughs> Because it looked like him with his little chunky little body. fatness. Oh, Cocaine Bear. I love that film. He was really stupid. Sometimes I like a good dumb movie. That's like <laughs> done, like dumb on purpose. Yeah. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Drag Me to Hell. I think we saw that. Um, yeah, we must have seen that. I think it was I good. We've seen I, almost every one. I, I don't recall. I think Talk to Me was probably one of my the best newer. Yeah, and it's it's the the what we liked about that is that it it's not too much. It's a mind. Yeah, game. more of a psychological and like the twist, and it was just really good. Yeah, I like movies with a good twist, but yeah. Troll Two, <laughs> best of movie ever. Is that real life, <laughs> Bruce? I haven't seen it. I don't think I haven't seen it. No, I'm still traumatized from doing the the troll dance. The troll oh dance. Oh my god, I know. 
I was a dance teacher back in England and our um, under 12s class did a dance to that first song. I got it. Don't. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I can't hear it anymore. I'm always like, skip. Yeah. I prepped myself for a zombie invasion, not COVID. Oh, gosh. Right? Oh, look at his wings. Oh, love wings. We still love wings. We should just do a reaction to, like, we should just do this and do reacting to Gizmo. <laughs> I'll just be like, oh. We could always go upstairs and we could have both mics on, you know? Why don't you, oh, you feel awkward on your own. Not necessarily. Unless you take Bird. Mm, maybe not. I, I could do that, though. Well, go upstairs. Because I can try and get Giz to talk. I think he will talk. He wants to talk. talk. Okay. I'm going to take you guys up with me. Um, upstairs. Emily's going to stay down here because I think Gizzy's going to talk. Is taking more upstairs? Into my space room. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I was about to. There we go. Okay, we're going upstairs. Em's going to turn on the Hi. mic. Em's going to turn on the mic. Down here. Yeah, we have a second tree up here. Welcome to my space room. This is my space room. <laughs> Come on. Let us know if this sound, if you can, like, if it's weird. <laughs> yeah, and because we're on Adobe, because we're on YouTube, we'll turn on the YouTube light. Boom. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. I love my space room too. And then we got Bean in my space blanket. That's my chair that Bean out. takes over. Jinx, we paid for it, I think, um, um, on one of the plat. What, what did we pay for it? What's that? Talk to me. They said they missed it at the theatre. I think it was on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Oh, the space room is not, not crazy. It's, there's not much in here. I'll show you. It's though. not finished yet. Show him your spaceman. Hold on. Okay. Let me just turn off the light. So we have like my like space guy here and obviously my light and the galaxy. And then I have a, a this is where bird bird comes and works with me up here. Bean comes and lays with me here and then my computer and everything's here. Um, and oh, my ET fell down, there you go. My ET. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I, I got a, I'm doing a bunch more stuff to it, but it's, I love it. Oh, and then the little guy that projects on the ceiling. So let me turn that off one more time. Oh, and then these are art pieces that my kids made which I love for my space room. 
but yeah, the ceiling is like my favorite. And it's from projected from this little space guy. Kids. Yeah, I want the kid, baby. We gotta get the kids to do more space artwork for my for the space room. It does go great. I love it. What's up? What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely. It's it's awesome. I my um. My son has one now down in his room because he saw mine and was like, I want one. So I got him one and they're really fun. They're not that expensive. I think I paid like 22 Canadian dollars for it. Oh, hi Gizmo. Sorry, I needed a snack. Yeah, thank you, Tina. You, if you Google, like, if you look on Amazon through a couple of them, you can find some that have some coupons and stuff too. Bean, come hang out with me. Come here. It's the healthiest one I can find, Kate. And I broke it into like six pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fact, Eli. Everybody here is breathing oxygen. That is so true. I'm so what we breathing me? out? Hmm? What are we breathing out? Carbon dioxide? Yeah, that kills. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Tune Addict. We, we, we love how many people that, um, how many people don't have birds that love hanging out with us. We appreciate that so much. She is, and this is like Bean just does this. This is, she just comes in my thing. I have an extra computer chair here and she just gets snuggledy right next to me. There she is. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> birds are really like I get for people who just don't have birds and like to watch it's it's fun because these birds are extremely amazing they are a lot of work and I'm sure everybody in the chat that has birds can attest to that so whoever is wanting to get a bird one day just know that they require way more work than a dog or a cat by far um, like being a chill, she just lays here Wow. If birds me, she'll be making noises, biting me, pooing on me. Like I poo on my shirt right here from bird. What's up? You want some? No. Gaze. Gaze, Mo. <laughs> did you say please? I think he did. <laughs> He's like, please. 
Um, Cosmo good, or Cindy and Cosmo, good question. Are live tomorrow, so we're going to be going live here on YouTube, same platform, um, with Einstein, the Texan parrot, the talking awesome. Texan parrot, tomorrow um, at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And for those of you who don't live in uh, North America, I can't figure out the time zone for you from here. But yeah, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Bird diapers, my, they won't, like, for one, there would be no way Gizmo would attack you if we tried to put a bird diaper on Gizzy. There's no way I could get one on Bloob, and Bird would just rip that thing off. Bye. Aw, Kate, no problem, Kate. Good luck on your interview, though, Kate. Oh, absolutely. Lisa, for you in the UK, it would be, hold on, oh. let me do the math. Um... I believe 6 p.m., Lisa. Where are you going now? Hey, babe, how do you think we could get a diaper on Gizmo? Um, if you want to be, like, fingerless. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh oh. Big wings, big wings. Give me your big wings. Big wings. One, two. Is that my big boy's wings? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going now? We, Ron, we don't really have favorite birds. I do. No, I don't really. Like, we, we'd we like them we, for their own reason. Yeah, we love them all. Just like children, you love them all differently, but you're bonded in different ways. Yeah. Wait, oh, my gosh, Giz. Oh, Kate, that sounds perfect for you. You could you could still learn a lot, like a lot in a sit down unit for sure. Thank you, Alejandro. It sounds like that hospital is just very clicky. Um, somebody had a question. Is it possible for Gizmo to have free flight? I mean, he can fly right now if he wanted to. He just doesn't know how to fly very well. Um, and that's where he had a crash and got hurt. Oh, like outside? Mm. I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust Brie for flying him outside. I just don't think he's the right fit for that yet. Maybe we're going to, there's a lady that lives in our town and she's a parrot trainer and we're actually going to hire her to come over. Um, I'm going to probably hire her once a month to come through and just do some training with us with Giz and help him get his confidence better. 
but I don't know if he'd be the right fit for it. But we do free fly our Conyer. That is a new toy. He has been working his way on it a little bit. Which bird works up first? Um, I think Bloob will make the most noise first. Gizmo and Bird can be kind of quiet unless they hear like some movement. Um, but they're they're pretty good about sleeping in, except for Bloob. Sometimes he can be really loud in the morning. Gizmo, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, nerd. <laughs> Set timer. How long? I choke. You choke? Come on. Come here. Oh, Natasha, that's amazing. Thanks so much for staying up in the morning to see it. We appreciate that. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Eli, that's hilarious. You're, you're funny. Giz, can you hear me? He did Where know you a second, Dad. Where am I, Giz? Babe, what's Gizmo's favorite word or phrase? His favorite word right now? Yeah. Yeah. That's like he, he, everything, he's like, yeah. Um, and Burano is something well played right now with him. Um, what else does he say? He's, he's talking a lot in his old owner's lady voice. He is lately. Yeah. I did say I missed it, and it's like, mm. it's funny, and now it's back. Yeah. Oh, Kate, we're going live on our channel, um, and Einstein's joining us over here, just like we're doing right now. It's going to be like this here. Oh, Blueby. Thank you so much. Oh, of course we can, Kate. We would love to. We want to do another one with Cosmo for sure. Huh, babe? Yes. What time? Just, well, since you're down there and I'm up here, should we end this soon to get ready for the Kidos when they come back? The Ketos? Yes. The kids. Oh. I'll never be ready. <laughs> right, let me walk away from blue because I feel like it's going to talk. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Lisa. That's so cute. Babe, did, did you see this comment? I'll read it. Lisa in the chat, Lisa Larson in the chat said her son wrote an essay on Cosmo for kindergarten and showed the video of Cosmo uh, pooping and blaming the cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it, her son's essay is framed in the library. That's so cute. That's amazing. That's adorable. Um, and Lisa, I know Cindy, uh, she was in the chat that um, is Cosmo's mom. Um, that is so cute. I'm going to screenshot that just in case you didn't see that. I'm sure you've told her directly, but 
That's amazing. <laughs> he wrote, if I pooped on the floor, I would blame the cat as well. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so cute. Thank you, Kate. That's adorable. I love that so much. Hi. Oh, that's so great, Lisa. That's so funny. Come on. Come on. Come on. Aw. That's so cute. She is so nice. Cindy's like the sweetest. Bloopy. It's totally Tina. That's why we keep, that's why, like, I think that's why as a flock together, we all continue to make content because of how much impact um, just our little birdies make. I love it. We did, uh, Bluey does have a new pre a new gift, um, and we do have like a lot, so I'll show you. This is our birdie stockpile. Um, we have that box and that box and that box is all filled with different toys for the birds. So, you got lots of birds. They got lots of toys for a while. But, un but Bluey doesn't really play with them. Like, he doesn't bite them. He just, um, he just kisses them. <laughs> Ah, uh, the, who's this? The rich peoples? I don't know. Um, I don't know who exactly you are, but we are excited to see all of you at the potluck as well. We wish we could bring Blue, but he, I don't think he's quite ready to bring Blue, but we'll still bring Gizmo and Bird with us. Ron, I love that fact. That is a great fact. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to give it like 10 more minutes just because I know the kids are going to get back? Yeah. Okay. Go light it up. Do, 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 do. Blueby say happy. Oh, why did I say Blueby say happy birthday? <laughs> Blue, everybody's saying happy birthday to you, little Blueby. Tickle, tickle. Peekaboo. Oh, gosh, you made me jump. I wasn't looking, I was looking at my phone. Let me see. Will you see if he'll talk to me through the phone? Okay. Let me turn it around. We have four kids, Ron. Yeah. Let me try and get... One of them just got home from work and she's downstairs. No, she's gone now. Oh, she left. She's got a friend's 18th. Oh, right. Letia or whatnot? No. 
Oh yeah, um, the other another one. one. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa. Mwah. Give Lisa blue bee key. Tell Lisa peekaboo. Say peekaboo. Hi. Peekaboo. Blue bee. All right. Peekaboo. Applejack, that's not a dumb question at all. Um, Bloob loves baths. He loves taking them. He'll he'll take one every day. Peekaboo! Bird takes them quite... Oh, she's pretty regular at bath time too, huh? Yes. It's just Probably good. like three, maybe three times a week, Bird will take a bath. Um, but Gizmo is the only one that's like... He'll do it, but it's not that good, so we have to kind of spray him down. Oh, thank you, Lisa. That's the sweetest. We love hearing that. Get A good boy, huh? Oh, Blueby, Blueby, go do 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 so he can do a lot. He can do quite a bit of Kiwi stuff too. Like, oh my goodness, he does that. Um, he can say treat treat like Kiwi too. It's just, he's still not comfortable. It's like when he's on the camera, he only says his select things, you know? It's weird, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But he can say so many more things than just tickle tickle and peekaboo. Blueby, do 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 do. <laughs> oh, that would be so cute, Ariella. Yeah, we will have to teach him that. Yeah, oh, he's actually kissing you. Oh, Bluey, <laughs> my baby. Yes, he does have blue eyes. Oh, Bluey. Who's that? Oh my goodness. Yes, he can say what you're doing. But he, he doesn't how do, does he say what doing? Like um Yeah, sometimes he says, What you doing? Yeah, he doesn't say it exactly like Hamlet, but he does say oh. like what are you doing? What you doing? Blue, what are you doing? He's so confused. He is. He, when you don't see him, he's got his head on yours. Aww. Blue, my arm's aching, dude. Blue, you Want me to come down now? Yeah, why don't you just end that one? Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you on the other phone. <laughs> oh. What do you mean, oh? I just did a, a poop. It made a big splat, but I don't see it. Have you guys have been back. <gasps> there we go. Do He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Oh God, that's gonna be loud now. Hang on a minute. My baby. My baby. Uh oh. Come here. Oh. Hi, handsome. Oh. It's so cute. Oh, Blueby. You're adorable. It's 
so cute. That was cute. That he was, was like cute. looking for me, huh? Mm-hmm. Get this in the front. Why not? But you could just get the beak on your face. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? No, you little bugger. <laughs> Aw, Ariella said I had a son, Conyer. Hearing that scream brings me both sadness and joy. Aww. Aww. The live tomorrow run is at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm not sure where you're from. I could, if you tell me where what time zone you're in, I can tell you the time. <laughs> oh yeah, Bluey is obsessed with feet. No good boy. His beak does look like a candy corn. I'm gonna make that appointment soon to get it trimmed, though. Yeah. Get it trimmed. They trimmed it last time, but not that good. It wasn't that good. But because he doesn't bite on any of his toys, it just doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't get um. Like it doesn't get trimmed down. Like Gizmo plays with all his wooden blocks, which help keep it trimmed down. And the only time he ever like rubs it is when he's got some food on it. He doesn't do it. No, too. exactly. Bluey. No, no, no. I'm gonna say goodbye. See you later. <laughs> no, I don't want my phone. Little hops are so cute. See, he tries to bite, but it doesn't actually hurt that bad. Oi. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. Now he's in a bite mood now. You be nice. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, he's just in a biting mood now. Yeah. You hungry, huh? He's choosing by them. Do you want home? Here, I have another piece of apple for you. Okay. Well, don't you? Oh my, thought you were gonna KO them. Okay. Guess it's just chilling. Reach. You just cheeky, cheeky, chilling. What's going on? Here? I can't talk today. It's like I've got a drunk tongue. Oh, I thought there was a piece of poo for a minute. No, it's a piece of orange. Bluey. Do you want some apple? I'm shocked. What's going on with him? He doesn't want to take treats from me. <laughs> no. No? No. Oh, well. Let's... Oh, hi, Giz. <laughs> oh, hi, Giz. You were a jump scare then. I turned around and you were closer. Good. Can I give you a bee grub? Beak rub. How did it, how did he use how did he say it went? Um, I can't do that voice. Beak rub. Beak rub. <laughs> I can't do it. What? Don't look at me like that. Oi. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Let's sing for kids. He does not look in the mood to be sung to. Do you want to do Christmas, Giz? Giz, do you want to tear up an ad? Go on, tear up an ad. Tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna 
gonna drop. No. Okay. You okay? He's saving his um, talking for tomorrow. Do you want to bite on this block? Yes. I wish we could do three people. We'd definitely have Cosmo on. Oh. We, 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 we love Cosmo. We love, um, we're friends with Cosmo's mum, Cindy. And um, we try to do as many lives together as possible. I'm to leave there now. I was going to say now that I'm out, but... Unless she, if she wants to do it for like 10, 15 minutes, I can send her that link. Same link. Uh, it's cause, is she still in the chat? She was not that long ago. Because sometimes she goes live at, like, sometimes Cosmo will still be awake at this time. Yeah. Sometimes not. If she is, we could do it for like probably 10 minutes if she wanted to pop in and just say hi. Up to Cindy, though. Cindy, if you're in the chat, if Cos is awake, you're more than welcome to join us before we go. Yeah, for a few minutes. Because you look like you're wearing a little tie. Now you want candy? I do. I hate candy corn. I don't like candy corn. Don't come for me if you like it. <laughs> um, but, man, me and Emily want something sweet really bad. We've been yeah, so good. Yeah, we've been eating so well. It's our fourth week of being good. I'm super thirsty. I don't think she's in here. She was not long ago. Kids, do you want to see movies? Yeah, Ariella. Um, he he could be. Let's see what Giz does to Boobie's new toy. Oh, don't let him break it. Good boy. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's like, what just happened? <laughs> Want to give it a kiss again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cosmo. Oh, she's amazing. Kiss. She's amazing. She's like, she lives for being live. She really does. Kids, <laughs> you'll see how strong their beaks are. This is quite a thick one. See? Makes it look so easy. I know. <laughs> we've tried. Don't it. judge us, but we've actually tried doing it, and we nearly lost a tooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's that point that they can get, you know what I mean? It's like, you know when you chop wood and with an axe and it can shred it like that? It's that little point they have. We just don't have that with our teeth. Gaze, can I try after you? If you crave sweet, try something salty. Hmm. Not sure if that works for me. I know, the thing is, before this diet, I was craving more um, savory than sweet, but now I'm just craving, I just, I probably wouldn't even enjoy it. It is a wooden block from that toy that I need to actually move, probably move in his cage now. Look, can you turn it on him? Because he's going to give me a kiss. Look. He's going to give me a kiss. And that's not beer. That is iced tea. <laughs> it looks like beer. I wish it was beer because I'd be Cheers. glugging it. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, it's just iced tea. Beer's got way too many calories in it. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. It's deliciousness, but... All right. Um... Mm, we haven't really done any training no. with Tammy. No, because we've only had it, it'll be two years in April. We wanted to work on trust and relationships before we even thought about trying to train him. But we were considering doing some training and things like that. He does know like certain things, like mm -hmm. water. Um, he can do that. Like when we were talking about water, he'll do the water sound and things like that. But yeah. But it's something we've not worked with him on. 
Lisa, I'm not even drinking anymore, and I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. He does seem to want my drink, but it's green tea. It's green tea. I and think they can have green tea. It's got honey. honey. But I don't want to risk it. Um, it's just green tea and a baby bit of honey. We could actually, no, actually, we could get a load of hay. Pretend um, for his birthday, because it looks just like it. If you use a proper. Oh, I forgot to do that chicken. Yeah, but. Um, yeah. It would still froth, I think, even without the honey. And I'll make him a tea for his 18th birthday so it looks like beer. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce. I've actually haven't. When's the last time I drank anything on Jasmine's birthday? I think. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. That was only one drink, though. Yeah. I don't really drink that much, though. I'm not really a drinker. If I drink, maybe like maybe once a week, if that. Not really. Probably once every two weeks. One drink. Green tea is acceptable in tiny amounts because of the caffeine and sugar. Yeah, they yeah. say that other tea, what's it called? What Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. We have that. Do you want some tea? I don't think you would even like this anyway, Giz. But smell it. Smell it. Do you want to try it? <laughs> e crab. I don't think he's even going to. Oh, let's see. Nah, he's not going to try it. He just wanted to stick his head in the glass. Let me drink this quick and I can put some water in here for you. Yes, Lisa, they do remember things. They, they've they got a really, really good memory. <laughs> a really good memory. He still, like, says stuff from his past. Even though he's been with us for a year and a half. Gregor, I don't think that's a dumb question, but it's an interesting one because I don't think that they can get cavities because they don't have teeth. Teeth, but that's interesting because is there something similar? You know what I mean? Beef rot. Beef rot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but no, I think it affects our organs more than anything. Mm. Yeah. Rupo's tea, like the, that tea is super good. I like that stuff too. Um, yeah. Yeah, they can hurt their beak. And their beaks are like um their beaks are like fingernails actually. So that's why they have to get trimmed because they can grow back. So and if you look at Gizmo's beak, like he does have like um like you can see that almost like a little crack in it. It's just where they that's rub it. That's why he's been rubbing it down on that side. Just where he like rubs it down and things like that. <laughs> he's like, What are you doing, Dad? <laughs> He's like, hurry up, drink that drink. Give me some water in there. Hold on. I'm going to drink it and then to put some water in here. Marlene's birthday tea. Marlene, Marlene's birthday. Ah. No. I'm... Really? What? Don't give him any. I'm going to give him this. I'm going to give him water. Oh. I'll get more. Hmm? Well, that's too long. Wow. You forget how that. Sponsored by Coors Light. <laughs> What's that, guys? Let me turn it so we can see you better.
You're a good boy. You're a good boy. One more. Yeah, please do, Bruce. That'd be great. Yeah, I kiss the birds all the time on their beak, too. One more time. The Tickle Tickle Boy birthday boy is over here. He's up on his, on his little... He's tired. He's so tired. He's had a long day. You got a long day. Do you want a little bit more before I put it away? No? Done? Okay, everybody. Our kids are going to be back any minute, so we're going to sign off. Yes, but we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yes, we will be back tomorrow with Einstein, the talking parrot, the talking Texan parrot. <laughs> and Einstein is like the OG of parrot because Einstein's been on YouTube for 16 years which is crazy mm -hmm. so Einstein and, and Marsha are like a freaking OGs of this space so we're really fortunate to have them on the live tomorrow with us and um, if you guys cannot make it because some of you are all over the world thank goodness for YouTube and having that replay so you guys could check it out afterwards or whatnot but if you can join us live that'd be awesome we're super super excited to see you guys then and thank you so much. All, most of you have been here since the beginning. And we really yes, appreciate, we appreciate you spending you. this much time with us out of your day. Because yes. we know how important time is and valuable it is. So we really thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Kate. Thanks for all your help. You guys are awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Lisa and Kate, for your moderation. We appreciate you all. Kate, great. Good luck tomorrow on your yes. interview. Good luck. We're wishing you all the best. Um, and yeah, we really, really appreciate every single one of you and we'll see you all tomorrow or on the replay. I'll see you guys in the comments. Yes. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks guys. Mwah. <laughs>